Well, I'm starting the morning out here in Eli, heading north to uh, Wells, Nevada first, which is the next gas from here, and it's uh, 128 miles or something. And that's just, that's, I'm getting real close to the limit on my gas tank, so I've got it filled to the brim, and uh, I'll probably be on fumes by the time I get to Wells. But I've done this trip once before, so I know it can be done in one tank of gas, so. I go. Well, I'm in McGill, which is just uh, north of Eli, and I stopped and I walked around the little town and made some shots, little, you know, designy little shots, little fun stuff of what I found. But uh, this is pretty cool. This is a uh, an old army rescue truck. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, little towns like this make me sad. I mean, it's literally. 25 buildings on Main Street and 20 of them are empty and uh, I just wonder if we bring that back somehow I mean it's sad to me you know a lot of dreams you know a lot of people have dreams and start a business and they're gonna do something and then life you know but anyway I got my bike parked on a downhill so uh, getting it uh, lifted up will be my morning exercise and I'll uh, see you in a while. This is my mid-ride break. I'm in Jackpot, Nevada, which is right on the border of Idaho. I mean, literally on the border. And all of Jackpot is on this side of the border and all of, of, of this desert uh, or high plains on the other side. I mean, the, the town just stops right at the border. You can see it go down about a mile that way. Uh, this town is built around um, gambling. There's uh, gambling over there. and This little place here is gambling. There's a big old gambling thing down there. And there's several RV parks with gambling. Lots of gambling. I think people are under the impression that they'll make a lot of money when they're gambling. We call that marketing. Mm -hmm. Well, I had to get off the road a little bit because this is part of '93. After I, uh, after I went through Wells, this part of '93 is busy. Wow, wow, wow! A lot of trucks, I guess, on the freeway get to Wells and then turn up towards Idaho Falls because it is truck after truck after truck. I couldn't even do a video on the side of the road because it's just too noisy. Uh, they're going both ways too. Trucks coming up, trucks going down. And lots of lots and lots of crazy people out trying to pass the trucks. Even though the trucks are going 75 miles an hour, people got to pass them because they don't want to be behind the truck for whatever reason. So I just pull over to the side and you know slow down, let the trucks go by me. I mean they they got some place to be and I don't. It's uh, really, really hazy, and I'm very disappointed that I wasn't able to get some video of the mountains that are on both sides of that valley. Oh my, it's just incredible. The road is straight, and then it's straight some more, and then it's a lot of straight. Yesterday we had some curves and some twisties for the uh, uninitiated to motorcycle slang. Twisties are curvy roads and uh, motorcycles love curvy roads. This road doesn't have any curves. I mean, even up on the mountain passes, and there's a couple of mountain passes, it's pretty much straight up and then straight down. Really, really boring. I got about 40 miles to go to Twin Falls, and uh, the roads are gonna be really, really boring, but the scenery is magnificent. I just wish there wasn't so much smoke or haze. I think there's some smoke. I think there's some forest fire smoke in the air because it doesn't look like just haze. When I look straight up, I can see blue sky, so it's a very low hanging, um, whatever it is in the air, smoke, fog, whatever it is. And it's uh, killing the contrast for the mountains. So no photographs of that part of the ride, but maybe it'll clear up a little bit when I get up near Twin Falls. Anyway, great. I will see you next video.
Well, I tried to make a video inside the restaurant, but as you can tell, it didn't work too good. Um, anyway, it was a great day. I had some very good weather. It's cool. Uh, all the way down from Eli, my hat is getting all bent up in the back of the, the motorcycle. But hey, it's better than wearing a bandana all the time because helmet hair, not good, not a good look. Not for me, not really for anybody, but especially not for me. So we came down from Eli to Wells. It was stunning. There's so little much land. Uh, people talk about overcrowding, just smack them. A stupid thing to say. There's so much arable farmland that it's incredible. Um, millions of acres. There's nothing between, you know, there's nothing south of Eli at all, or Ely or whatever they call it, Ely, Nevada, whatever. Um, and then north of it is this, you know, ranches here and there. Just, you know, you got to drive to find them. Um, and then from uh, yeah, that, then from Wells up to, uh, to Twin Falls, lots and lots of farms or farmable land, flat land with mountains, just most incredible mountains. Just south and west of Idaho Falls, there's this mountain range. It's fairly far away, but it's the most rugged mountain range I've seen in this area. I mean, it's like bare rock jutting up. It's the, the, like a, uh, like like Peru or somewhere where it's just raw up there. It's just incredible. Like Sierra's here, very high, still snow up on top. And uh, I, I don't know what the temperature was, but I, I doubt if it was more than 68 the whole time uh, until I got right here to Idaho Falls. And uh, right now I'm in Jerome. It's a little town uh, just, just north of Idaho Falls. And I uh, had... Uh, lunch at Si Senor's or dinner at Si Senor's. I'm heading back to a little bed and breakfast and there are lots and lots of people out on the streets. Lots of barbecues going on. It's Saturday night after all. And a lovely little town. Beautiful homes everywhere. Nice people. I've had a blast uh, the last hour and a half just sort of walking around looking for a place to eat. Having fun. But uh Heading back now, got some writing to do. Got some stuff that I wanna get out to the Project 52 folks and got some stuff I gotta get out to the people who wanna be Project 52 folks. So uh, I'm heading out. This is the last video for today. We'll see you later.